This is Pete Lukowski with AmateurGolf.com here in Santa Cruz, California at Pasatiempo Golf Club. Today we're going to take a look at Pasatiempo, which is an Alistair McKenzie gem that if you have not played, by the time you've watched this three or four minute video, you're going to want to. Pasatiempo. It's a Spanish word that means hobby or pastime. And while the club's logo is a cartoon of a man wearing a sombrero and sleeping under a palm tree, don't get too relaxed if you're planning on teeing it up here because you're going to need to think your way around the course from tee to green. Whatever you do, keep it below the hole if you can. This historic course, which opened for play in 1929, was Alistair McKenzie's favorite design. He made his home on the sixth fairway. It has recently undergone a restoration by golf architect and McKenzie expert Tom Doak. We'll start out our tour with one of the greatest par threes in California, the third, where Pasatiempo head professional Ken Woods described the changes. Originally, I mean, it was a hole. It played at about 214 yards, I believe. And uh, there was a, it was a pretty much a straightforward shot where you just kind of came off the tee and there was no really other obstacle than a few bunkers that surrounded the right side. I mean, the original design was that bunkers went all the way around the back side of the green, as well as a huge bunker that's probably about 150 yards off the tee. And it really shapes the hole really nicely. Um, also, you can see now that we're kind of looking at you know, the back side of the green. Uh, that green was expanded you know, several thousand square feet as far as green surface. So you know, the back part of the green is also expanded as well as the front. And so it's, it's, it's pretty spectacular now. From good goes, it went from a great hole to an even better hole. Pasa Tiempo has made a concerted effort to really start looking at how to stay green. And so there's, there's certain things that you know, the community, the members, the staff, uh, management team really feel uh, strongly about and one of them was to be able to create the uh, original canyons, the ruggedness of them, without having to spray a bunch of harsh chemicals down there. And uh, so what we did is that, you know, our superintendent, who is from the Montana area, has, they've used these brush goats for other reasons and we thought that you know, bringing them in, they could, uh, we could cage them off a little bit, surround them with electric fence and have a couple guard dogs and they could just eat away and, and bring back our natural, our natural canyons. So it's worked out great. 16, obviously, yeah. I mean, anybody that comes past Tampa wants to be able to come to that hole. Even if they're not playing, they want to see it. Because I think everybody has either played it on EA Sports or one of those things, and they Tiger Woods 2007. So it's one of those holes where, you know, it has notoriety not only from people who play the golf course, but for people who just know golf in general. And that was McKinsey's favorite hole in all of golf. and all the courses that he designed, that was his favorite hole of all of them. I always tell my friends and associates and amateur golf members that play uh, golf in California, whether they're visiting or whether they live here, that they've got to touch them all and they've got to see Pasatiempo. Uh, Cypress Point, can't get on. Correct. Augusta National, can't get on. For all intents and purposes, Pasatiempo can be played by the public. Can you tell me a little bit about how the AmateurGolf.com or, or any player gets on the golf course and uh, what the times are they can play? Yeah, we have, you know, being a semi-private club, we still have restrictions to members on certain days. And so uh, we are open to the public. And, you know, I've done other um, interviews before with, with other publications about Pasa Tiempo, and it is. I mean, it's the only accessible golf course. I mean, if you want to see, you know, the greens like you see at Augusta, the false fronts, I mean, all the natural beauty and, you know, McKinsey design, I mean, this is the place you got to play. So it's one of those things where, you know, this is, this is the golf course that if you're, if you're an avid McKinsey or if you're just a golfer and just want to come tee it up, this is it. And, you know, we can go, you can call either the pro shop, but we can advance. You can go to our website, www.pasatiempo.com, and you can book a tee time online, or you can go as far as year in advance if you want to pay a little extra fee for that too. But um, we're accessible, and it's, obviously it's a great golf course.